This is Ozarks Fox AM. Welcome back to the second hour of Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Rabe. Thanks for tuning in on this terrific and foggy Tuesday. Yes, it is. And and not froggy. You're not froggy oh, now. Oh, I'm not. I was froggy first yes. hour. <clears throat> I've cleared my throat. <laughs> A little corn popped out, but. Uh, as long as I don't see it, we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> I got a present for you. You know, I used to like to talk about the corn that you raised and everything. Now, that's all I'm going to think about is the corn in the hand. I've ruined it for you, and I'm so a sorry. Bit, a little bit. Because the corn from my garden is so good. I know it's good. tasty. What if I promise to bring you that corn, and I'll put it on the grill like I like to grill it, and I promise I will not mention the other corn? Not mentioning is not going to do any good anymore. It's just, it's, it's etched in my brain what happened. I'm so I didn't sorry. even know that could happen, getting what? something caught in your sinus cavity. You didn't know that could happen? I didn't. I'm, really? No, I didn't. It has happened to me a couple of times. Yeah. It's because I either am a hurried eater or I try to talk when I eat. And I should <laughs> I think not that's do what that. happened. You breathed. I did. I breathed and it was. Yeah. And you could feel it. And a lot of the comments we got in social were like, they oh, I've they, done they that. They had that happen, too. And they talk about how painful it is. Yeah. Because you're not supposed to have corn no. in your nasal passage. Gosh, no, no. Or anything. Or no. cheese. I've had cheese stuck up there, too. You know what that... <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy. Oh, my <laughs> word. Cheese? What kind of cheese? Velveeta slices. <laughs> what? Let me... Hey. Hey, hang on. Let me see. I can see all the way through to the other side. Yes, I can. Did I tell you about the cheese? I, I think you did. I didn't. Okay. I didn't ask at the time what time. What did, kind? Yeah. Did you? Velvina? Did I tell you how I got it out? Oh. <laughs> do we want to hear how I got it out? Maybe I'm not. Sure I do. don't want to gross you guys yeah. out. I'm sorry, but I did end up getting the cheese out of my nose you, um, cavity. You um, took a wire hanger. <laughs> You, you fished it out. I don't know. No. Well, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to do no, that. I meant, I meant to take a screen grab of your face because your face is what cracked me up. So. Well, I was playing the straight man. I was the straight man in that, in that little you, sketch. You were over it. I, but I'm telling the viewers, I promise, I promise it really did happen. No, no, it really and did. And they, you planned that. I'm like, oh, I swear. Yeah, yeah. Did some people say that to you? Yeah, they thought I had it in my hand already. But I'm like, mm -hmm. I, I would well, not lie I about that. Well, I rewatched it just to make sure that was not the case. And it wasn't. No, it it's wasn't. True. No. But it did make me think of the circus acts, how they do all those things where it com comes out of their nose or goes through their the mouth. The milk, or... and they can shoot it out their eye. Oh, my goodness. How much practice would that take? I, and I'll, I'll reference this just because my family is in the room right now in the studio. Okay. My cousin, Shauna could not watch that video because it grossed her out so much. So she didn't Shana, even watch the corn. Shauna, I'm with you. Oh, my goodness. She couldn't watch it. But coming up tomorrow, another show I bet Shauna does not watch is Dr. Pimple Popper. Oh, I can't. No. Have you guys watched that show? Oh, please. That is a horrible... I have my interview with Dr. Mm. Pimple Popper coming tomorrow on the show. And I tried to pull clips, Wait. and I was getting grossed out pulling the clips of the show. Can I take tomorrow off? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of that, that show, and I, I seriously... I can't. I can't do it. And uh, you'll can't. love this. In the interview with Dr. Uh, Sanjali, my cousins will identify with this. My grandma, Norma, used to pop our zits on our face. Do you guys remember that? That was just you. Oh, it was just me? <laughs> Cousin Sean was like, it's just you. I told Dr. Pimple Popper, my grandma used to like to pop my zits. I remember grandma being there getting ready. She goes, Jeremy, get over here. And she Oh, said, my gosh, Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. This, I'm sorry. This conversation has gone really it's awry. It's gone awry, hasn't it? It's gone. T I'm so sorry. How can we? No, it's okay. I, I feel bad. Kelly's going to yell at me after no, the show. No, no, I'm not. I'm just never going to be able to eat again. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> How about we switch gears from something totally disgusting to something that we all are interested in? Yes, I agree. Getting rid of this fog yes. and the weather. Meteorologist Beth Finello. Beth, is the fog gone yet? Uh, it's, uh, it's still a little foggy out there with mostly cloudy conditions, but it is slowly starting to fade through the morning hours, which is what we want to see. We want to see more sunshine this afternoon. We're at 66 here in Springfield. Check out the dew points at the middle 60s. Very sticky out there. 69 in West Plains, 69 in Mountain Home, and 68 up in Rolla. We've got dew points in the middle and upper 60s. And that's why when you walked out this morning, yes, it was foggy, but it was also very humid, very muggy. And that's pretty much where we are on the muggy meter, sticky and humid conditions. And we get to keep those through today and through tomorrow. We've got mostly cloudy conditions otherwise. The dense fog advisory continues until 9 a.m., so for about another hour or so. And then we've got an isolated shower chance this afternoon. Otherwise, today is going to be pretty quiet. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds by the afternoon, keeping the isolated shower chances in our eastern counties. Then we get a break, and then through the overnight, we get another round of showers and storms coming in. With those showers and storms, we could see some isolated severe weather, mainly damaging winds and large hail. Then we get another break, and then we'll 
we'll have uh, some more showers developing through the afternoon hours. And then tomorrow, of course, we'll have still have those shower chances through the evening as well. Healthier atmosphere Wednesday afternoon, mainly south and east of Springfield and south and east of I-44, I think is the best chance for some severe weather. And if they form into a line, of course, damaging winds still going to be a very big concern. Here's your pollen report for Tuesday. Weeds moderate and mold still high. Grass and trees are low. You probably should grab a large iced coffee as you're heading out the door. We've got sun and clouds, humid conditions, and temperatures in the lower 80s. And if you want to go outside, walk the dog. I think today's going to be a great day all around. Temperatures in the upper 70s, lower 80s, and a mix of sun and clouds. Now, Kelly and Jeremy, I know that you guys are sports experts now. Yes. And I know that Correct. Kelly wore the maroon pants because Mississippi State plays today in the College World Series. That is and right. And that's definitely why you did that, right? Uh, yes. How did you, <laughs> Beth, oh my goodness, we are so on the same page. That is exactly why I did that. Did you know that, I, I did know that, and I'm wearing black and white because I'm mourning the fact that they're going to lose. What? No. <gasps> are you? Wait. Sorry, I got to call it like a call. I'm leaving. Really? I'm walking away. Oh, now you, <laughs> come back. Now you've offended Beth. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jeremy. I just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yes, Beth. We're rooting for a win. Yeah. Okay. We're and by the way, win. who's yes. that dog behind you that's so adorable? Yeah. That, that cute little dog? That is Sissy. Um, Sissy. Oh, she's so cute. I'm not sure who, where it came from. Oh. But that's like, it's on the screen. We have I don't a ton know. of dog pictures in our, like, in our system, so we just circle through the Can dogs. I send you a video of yesterday with the damage that Blue did when he got out of the yard? He tore up all my, yes. my plants <laughs> and he, uh, yeah, Yikes. the trash and all kinds of good stuff. I would be irate. <laughs> I was like, it's just another day. There you yes. go. Thank you, Beth. You're we welcome. appreciate it. Jeremy, guess what? It's another Ozarks Fox AM Theater Rewind. Is it? Yes. Ooh. I'm ready to watch it. I okay. And we might have entertainment news, too. And we will. And we will. Come back. Yeah, maybe we will. I don't know what we're having. It's one of those kind of days. You just don't know what's yeah, going to happen. Yeah, get out of it.